Good afternoon. Thanks for agreeing to do this interview. Um, can we start just by introducing yourself? Uh, who are you? Yeah, my name's uh, Brendan Duffield. Uh, I'm a branch secretary for the GMB in Barking and Dagenham, and I work at Civic Centre. Great, thank you. Um, and also, can you tell us how long you've lived in the borough? I've lived in the borough uh, just over 35 years, and uh, it's a great borough to live in as well. Great. Um, so you know why we're here. Um, John Kravis is running a huge campaign across the whole of Dagenham um, to save our civic centre and protect public services for the residents. Um, we're doing these interviews just to find out what the civic centre means to, first of all, residents and uh, key individuals in the community. So uh, what does the civic centre mean to you, Brendan? Uh, well, the civic centre is a very iconic building and uh, it's one I'm proud to work in. And uh, over the years, um, my children have visited there and now my grandchildren and also uh, for the Christmas songs and things like that so it's always been a beautiful building for people to visit. My main concern is the residents have really got not a lovely icon building like that and the concerns for me as well people have had their their families their grandparents their great-grandparents and even their great-great-grandparents uh, had their stuff on the wall put on their names uh, I think that wouldn't be recognised because if it turns into whatever they're going to turn it into a Tesco's or a school you know what I mean it, it won't have the same feeling for families who have had their families names put on them plaques and things like that so that's one of my concerns as well it ain't got the same feeling if, if it's a school or, or a, a Tesco's or whatever they want to do with it Okay. Um, are there any concerns as a, as a GMB branch secretary um, of, of kind of like job changes um, in the building if it was to convert into school um, and like relocation of people's, people's workplace? Well, the, the, see, again, I've got people, I've got family and friends that live in Dagenham and they're concerned that why, would, why should that building uh, close? One, we'd lose jobs and there's a lot of people working there, most probably about 500 people. Uh, where are they all going to be done? And also the residents, why do they have to have to get trains and buses or taxis or get people to drop them over to Barkin to go and see? So that, that is a good public building for public services and for people to visit, which many people do visit me over the years as well and talking about the local community. Great. Um, well, thank you for that. Um, anything else you'd like to add at all? Uh, well, I, I just want people to realise once you've sold off the, the family silver, you'd never get that back. And you know, if you just look at that building, it's beautiful. Buildings are recognised all over the place. The only sort of schools you'll recognise is, is only if you went to them, apart from if it's Eton or Cambridge. But the buildings don't change, so that building would be great for the name. And it was built in Dagenham, made for Dagenham. So that is my concern, you know what I mean, built in Dagenham. Great, thank you very much.